I am going to talk about join order in SQL queries. If there is such a thing as a silver bullet for tuning SQL, it is getting the join order correct. When the cost-based optimizer develops an execution plan for your SQL statement, it has to make many, many decisions. The three most important ones are join order, join method, and access method. Most important, join order. Which of the tables in your query will be the driving table? If your query addresses 20 tables, will it be joining table A to B to C, or C to B to A? There will be any number of possible join orders. One table needs to be selected as the driving table for the start of the query, and then all the other tables will have to be joined in a certain sequence. Having worked out the join order, the cost-based optimizer then has to work out the join method. There are many options here, but typically the optimizer will be wanting to use nested loop joins, an iterative process if the row sets are fairly small, and hash joins, a non-iterative pr process if the row sets are large. Having worked out the join method, it then moves on to the access method. Small row sets, probably index-driven access paths. Larger row sets, probably scan-based access paths. All these decisions are determined by statistics, object statistics and system statistics. But the most important decision is always join order.